To document these abuses, Amnesty International researchers conducted a research mission last month in Jordan where they met scores of Syrian refugees. Some 25 of the people they interviewed said they had been tortured or otherwise ill-treated in detention before they had fled across the border. Our researchers documented the stories of brutality they shared in our latest report, I Wanted to Die, Serious Torture Survivors Speak Out. The report catalogs the medieval horrors visited upon Syrians by government security forces, including some 31 different types of torture. Because one of the most important things we can do is tell the story, I will recount some of those testimonies here. They recount beatings on all parts of the body involving punching, slapping, and or kicking administered with fists, feet, sticks, truncheons, braided cables, whips, or butts of Kalashnikov type weapons. Flesh gouged with pincers, dewlob torture, in which the victim is forced into a vehicle tire, which is often hoisted up before the individual is beaten. The sat ali, the so-called flying carpet, whereby the victim is strapped face up onto a foldable wooden board, the two ends of which are moved towards each other. This causes significant pain to the lower back. During the process, the victim is often beaten. Shabe whereby the victim is hung by manacled wrists or from a hook over a door or occasionally by the feet, often for long periods and usually while being beaten. Sometimes the beatings are administered while the detainee is in a stress position where the detainee must keep his toes on the floor. Being subjected to se sexual violence, being forced to watch the rape of another detainee, being subjected to sights and sounds of torture, being inflicted on others, including friends and family members, and being exposed to the ki killing of torture victims. Electric shocks to parts of the body by an electric prod or other hand instrument. Being stabbed or cut, sharing a solitary confinement cell with what appeared to be a dead body.